Welcome to Home of Our Stars. This is season two and the drama gets more real. <laughs> Every once in a while, a good story comes along and you just fight to get home and onto the TV just to catch up on what's going on. In fact, you get so invested that the characters don't seem to be characters, but also in real, you can't tell them apart. The characters and the person is just the same. And that good story sometimes includes lies, which is why one of the most popular shows on PMP is Dumb lie, and you've been watching, and I'm bringing to you the characters that honestly I'm third willing on the set today. Mm. I have Abe Nicoletta Leonardo. How are you? You Thank are you. Drusilla in Dumb lie, and she's very soft spoken. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. You're fine. And I have uh, the story will be unveiled soon, <laughs> but <laughs> I have Kenny Rukundo who is Noah, but according to him, anyway, we'll bring that story in part two. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. This is home of our stars, so we want the audience, not just seeing you, as the, seeing the characters, but to get to know the people behind the characters. So sort of where it starts, you know, before Damalai, before the sensation that Drusilla has become, what was the journey getting you into film? Well, first and foremost, um, I've just graduated from school. Okay. I was doing bachelor's in human resource management. Yeah. yeah. So I, I totally to, far from the acting. Yeah, but. totally far. <laughs> Are you having just backup books in case? Uh -huh. okay. I, anyway, so I um, I started acting in uh, P3. I mm -hmm. would do dramas on stage. Yeah. I developed, I went into secondary, mm -hmm. and I started doing theater dance. Mm -hmm. And then with that, I got to realize that I can actually do more mm -hmm. in acting, and I got more interested. Mm -hmm. And then I was able to feature in Chadala season two. I didn't really do a very, you know, big role as such, but okay. yeah, it helped me grow. Mm -hmm. And from Chadala, that is where I was visible Spotted, enough, yeah. and I was, taken to Damali. Mm -hmm. But before that, I also did um, a role in Borders mm -hmm. that premiered on 27th, mm -hmm. yeah. So that has been my journey. It seems like a very intentional journey, because P3, you're young. Is there somebody around you who was into film who pushed you that way, or you, it was just in you? It was just in me, I think. I had the passion mm -hmm. and I had the talent. Uh, yeah, there you I had go. the love for it. Flowers, give them to yourself. <laughs> I love, love, love it. What is what is it when you say, and I love it, I have a passion for it, what is it about acting or getting into character that you, fascinates you or excites you? Um, first of all, I've never really done a role like a love story. You know how we watch Telemundo and you know all these movies on screen? Yeah. There is, I don't know, there is something about these people when, when they're in love uh -huh. and when they change Sometimes, like, let's say if they act in Telemundo in another series and they're in love, mm -hmm. the other one is different. You find them in another series and yes. they are totally different. Yes. So that is what fascinated me. I wanted to know how it feels like fitting in the someone's shoes, yeah. yeah, fitting into the different roles mm -hmm. and characters and being able to portray them mm -hmm. so that people can actually be invested in one. And show. believe yes. that it actually be, is. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the character, uh, someone said that, what's to work when I'm But we'll get to that. So what's your journey like? Um, acting is something I never thought I would ever do. Right. Um, so in my senior six work, I was uh, scouted out by Ronnie Molindo. Mm -hmm. um, Who was with the obsession. Yes. Yeah. I'm not that old. Not, so like, he had left the obsession. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's recent. Yes. We're trying to calculate. So, this. In, so in 2016, yeah. uh, he had started up a modeling agency. Yeah. So he asked me to be one of his models. Mm. So I joined them for like about a month. He asked me if I could dance. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is not in my DNA. Right. So um, so he asked me about acting. I'm like, I don't know, but I can give it a shot. Mm -hmm. He had uh, put up a theater show 
at the National Theatre yeah. called Goddess of the Nile that ran for about a month. So that's when I found out that I can actually act. Oh. So after that, I went on a break. And then again, mm -hmm. he calls me and tells me to send in like a video. He wanted An to, tape. yes, yeah. to the casting director of Prestige. Mm. And then I did, five months down the road, they call me, <laughs> they give me a role, mm -hmm. you know, like office feelers, just sit in there. Just be, exist. Exist, <laughs> pass papers around to the yeah, boss. Yeah. And then I think they discovered the potential, so they grew my character wow. into a psychopath who, <laughs> yeah. From passing papers. From passing papers to a psychopath. To a psychopath. You sound like you just like, it just happened, I just stumbled, it, and it just... I just realized it was something I'm good at and I had no idea. I so have you changed from the guy who's like, hey, it was just happening, to now are you invested? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I realized I love storytelling. Mm -hmm. So me fitting into that character, because uh, the, the casting director, who was also doubling as one of the writers of Prestige, asked me if I'm ready to go dark in my character. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what that say, meant. What, how would you know what that means? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I think <laughs> I am. Of yeah, course. of course, yeah. can go dark. Step back, everyone. Step back, calm down, man. Okay, okay, we can go down. Please let me go, you're hurting me. Shut up, Chelsea, shut up. Wait, please, let my daughter go, please. Clinton, you're only making your charges worse. Open the door. Open it. Okay. He's like, yeah, so you have to transition. I'm like, okay. So there's this series, it's called You. It's, oh my, that's... Mm, yeah, so I tried to embody scary. that character. <laughs> yeah. I channeled a lot of negative energy, mm -hmm. and I was able to pull it off. Does that stay with you, like when you channel yes, the negative energy? Yes, it does. Screen? You need therapy after. Oh, wow. Yeah, but for a person who is, like, strongly founded mm. in belief, mm -hmm. I, it's easy for me to... To, to go along. Yeah. Today, film or the film industry is like out there. It's grown. It's prestigious to be part of the film industry. That wasn't that back in the day. When I hear like you know, Nicola, you started much earlier. That means you had the family support from when you're young. People say, yeah, it's fine. How did your family understand that this is a good career to go to? Because not everybody is supported when they try film or anything in media. Well, um, all I can say is that most families are different. Mm -hmm. um, I personally, I grew up with a mom. I didn't grow up with a dad, mm. but um, my mom has always been very supportive. Whatever I want to do, for mm -hmm. as long as it's what I want, okay. she always supported it. Mm -hmm. And for as long as she knew I wasn't going to be in any kind of harm, mm -hmm. because when I was actually going to do Damali, I told her, Mommy, I'm going to do Damali. Mm -hmm. And she was like, are you sure? Because it was a big project, and you mm -hmm. know, I was doing a lead role. So like, are you sure? And then like, people out there who are going to see you and, you know, start disturbing you, being a girl oh. child and all these things. And Did she know the role you're going to play <laughs> Yeah, I explained point? to her. Okay. So uh, by the time I sat down to talk to her, she actually had an idea about everything. Oh, okay. So I told her, Mommy, you don't trust <laughs> the girl you have brought up. Like, I mean, you have, <laughs> <laughs> you have brought me up the yeah. right way. So I believe I'm not going to disappoint mm. you. So she trusts me, and I love that about her. Wow. She supported me through it. How have you found the? Of course, as you've been progressing, because when you're younger and you're on you know school stages and everything, then when you get into the real world and the real stages, it's different. <laughs> what What are the differences you found? Whether they're good differences or bad differences? Well, in my early stages when mm. I was in school, the challenges I found were. Oh, yeah. you. Okay. You burnt yourself? Ouch. Mom, it's nothing serious. Sorry, what about oh, this? Sorry. Mm. Then growing into being in this series, mm. the challenge I've met, honestly, has been maintaining public image. Yes, I move in town and people are calling me Jusila, Jusila. Yeah. 
I can no longer do certain things just because I'm limited mm -hmm. because I have to maintain that public image. What do you because feel you so can't do though? Order a Rolex. No, Olivaro. <laughs> Why can't you order a Rolex on the roadside? <laughs> Not Probably sure. not, actually. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know how those days it was so easy that you can put on your sandals and just go be free. Down. Yeah, you'll be mm. free. But these days it's not the same. Because <laughs> you, even in you, you, in your mind, you're like, okay, someone is going to see me with this kind of outfit and, and what think, I think. Yeah. So there's a lot yeah. that goes around. And there's so many kids that look up to me, honestly. Mm. I went to visit my brother in school before mm. they broke off for holidays. And there are a bunch of kids, oh my God, a bunch of kids mm -hmm. that love my, my character, they love me, mm -hmm. they love what I am doing, and I just can't disappoint them because they look at me. You say that not like, oh, they look up to me, you say that like it's pressure. They look up to me. It's also pressure. Right. Me. Because I've just started, it's not mm -hmm. like I'm financially there or you know, mm -hmm. so it's also pressure. Mm -hmm. Because the money has to match this, this star. No, not necessarily, <laughs> but... Yeah? But at least you mm. have to try your best yeah. to make sure you don't fail. How are you going to control, or how are you controlling that? You know, because that pressure, you need to always sort of teach yourself how to manage it. How are you doing that? Or well, what kind of support are you giving yourself to manage it? For now, mm. I try so much not to, I limit my movements. Mm. I don't make myself so available. Mm -hmm. And also, um, of course, when I meet my fans out there, mm -hmm. It's okay to greet them when they come through mm -hmm. um, because they love you. For some mm -hmm. reason, you can't help it. Mm -hmm. But I want them to know that regardless, me being on TV, I am still me. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want Not to... Not Drusilla. You're yes. still you, I'm still me, Nicoletta. Nicoletta. <laughs> yes, I'm still Nicoletta. Yeah. So many of my friends meet me and they're like, Nikki, honestly, why are you just like that? And my mind, I'm like, yo, I'm still Nicoletta. Yeah. 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 So I want people to know me as Drusilla and also know the real me. Mm -hmm. that, that's always a hard thing to sort of separate. But you were a model. This should be easy. Mm -mm. You're just walking around the world, just being, mm -mm. no? Okay, <laughs> tell us. <laughs> um, I, I want to thank God that even when I joined the acting industry, mm -hmm. most actors are, what is it called? Typecasted, mm -hmm. like they're giving the same role yes. in everything that you do. If you did a good role before, they assume like, that's what you're good. Cute guy, smart. Yeah. That's what they're going to continuously mm -hmm. give you in every production. Mm -hmm. My journey has been different. Yeah. It has been diverse. Mm -hmm. I've played a psycho. I've played a DJ. I've played a broke guy. I've played a mad person. I've played a stammering person. Mm -hmm. So the the challenges I get with that is when I'm in public, and people come up to me. I don't know what version. We, which character do you? <laughs> like, yeah, you're like. So I, so I have to wait for them to be like. I like you in this. Oh, the, the character name. Uh, they stayed Then I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, do you do you then have to almost show up as that person for them? Uh, not necessarily, mm -hmm. but it gives me an insight on how to Who respond expecting. towards right. them. Yeah. Right. Um, stardom, like she said, comes with a bit of pressure for yes. her. Is it the same for you? Yeah. Of being recognized or being known. It. At first, it had that hype of, uh, yeah, <laughs> but <Happy> now, <laughs> image. Like, you can't just, sometimes, the, those bad days, right. you just choose to wake up and go <laughs> do your things, and then someone recognize, recognizes you, and you're like, ah, oh, shoot, I wore, I wore the wrong outfit today. <laughs> it had to be I today. I forgot to show up as yeah. a star. So, yeah. stuff like that. What but, about the actual onset productions? Because every production you've worked on is different. Yes. Or they grow as you keep going, you know? They do grow. Yeah. Um, they do grow. I I think I should be grateful that the season that I joined the Ugandan acting industry, mm -hmm. it had Already grown. Already grown. Yes. Yeah. I had stories of how people back then, they would tell had you... Had one camera and one microphone? One camera, <laughs> one mic. And they had to, like, take 20 wide shots. <laughs> Then come back to this. Then come back, yeah. and it gets exhausting, mm -hmm. yeah. But the industry has evolved, mm -hmm. and because of sponsors, mm -hmm. uh, multi-choice mm -hmm. that have come on board to support the art, mm -hmm. it's been easy. Uh, they have created so many employment opportunities. So with that, you see the future. It's bright. bright so right. that the, even the passion and the drive grows with, with time. Um, you strike me as someone very introverted, you know, calm and quiet, and some, her, not you, 
Of course not. I'm giving that look because I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. Mm -hmm. Can you be yourself? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Actually, this would be good. What is she like? So there's Nicoletta and then there's Drusilla on set. Yes. Because nobody can tell you about the other person more than you. The Costa you have the most scenes with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the, She's not here. You speak. The similarities between Nicoletta and Drusilla, Drusilla. on a scale of one to ten uh -huh. are like eight. Hey. But uh -huh. uh, Nicoletta is a much more lover than Drusilla. Uh, sorry, Nicoletta is the real her? Yeah, the real her. Drusilla is the character. Yeah, yeah. Cut it for you, how do you know? Well, <laughs> as the coaster. <laughs> I'm like, I've, how I've, do you know? I've, I've tasted it firsthand and I've seen it. Uh -huh. Yeah, with the way she relates with her. I know, the words he's you choosing to use. You, you see, when, when before we started, they said, are there some things we should not talk about? And then you didn't you know what I'm saying. And she's, she's just, she was quiet. <laughs> So yeah, the way she relates with her family members, her friends, her peers, it's it's real, it's genuine. So yeah, and she's more playful. Um, the real her versus the, the character. The real her, yeah, yeah. So she doesn't bring that to the character though. She does, but there's a there's a, a limit. Yeah, she tones it down mm -hmm. because well, their directives follow the script. You can't <laughs> right. be laughing like a hyena. Like Yay. no, do not. <laughs> not. <laughs> you know what I'm the saying? The shade. No. <laughs> The shade. Know. Okay, maybe it's a good time for you to tell us about him now. Fifty dollars based on two. I'll pay you. Say nice things about me. Well, mm -hmm. um, is there a difference between Kenny and Noah? Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. At first, there wasn't that much because mm -hmm. you know, Noah is this kind of poor guy from mm -hmm. a very humble family. You know, he's literally like the breadwinner. Mm -hmm. Kenny, on the other hand. Oh. <laughs> He's more like a dawn. Yeah. Uh, Take a look. The money. Like, you know, <laughs> he's he just as well, the yeah. English. Yeah. Mm -mm. You're going to make them cut my pay. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Mm. So like there's a very big difference. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, mm -hmm. um, he wasn't so he wasn't bringing out the his character. character well, probably because he was used to He couldn't relate to couldn't. poverty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He wasn't sure whether, honestly. How do poor people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do they act? But I'm yeah. very, I'm, I'm very positive that right now, I think it's very many change, people can yeah. actually see it. Mm. There's been a very big change. Mm -hmm. um, Noah is very humble. He's um, very caring. Close your eyes. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. He's uh, consistent, persistent, you could say wow. it all. He's, he's a good guy. Yeah. Yeah, who is trying for his family. Well, oh, Kenny. Kenny on the other <laughs> side, in the actual real life, Kenny is, yeah, he's, he's actually a nice guy. The only thing with, uh -huh. about him is he's a show. And mm. you a show. Time out. Is that <laughs> no? The juice is now juicy. The, is the Kenny show is a show off, off or no? Is a show off. Kenny, Kenny is a show. show off. Mm. Okay, not in a bad way, but okay, okay, okay. When he has to show up at a place, yeah, he really does show up. Mm. Because you have to show up. Mm. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. <laughs> it is just the cars, the phones, the what? What is show up? The talking. Feel free. So, this is a safe space. No one is watching. For your <laughs> <laughs> no one is watching. Like his whole package. Mm. Yeah. I wonder what it takes for people to, like, how do you get into character when you have to be lovers on screen after the break? Welcome back. It is season two of Home of Our Stars, and we're bougie. Yes, dressed and styled by bougie. <laughs> we're in love <clears throat> because the characters on Dumbly that are most, uh, yeah, the ones that get you talking are here. I have Nicoletta, who stars as Drusilla, and I have Kenny, who is Noah. By the way, you're a bear, a trolley. Yes. When you met, did you tell him all your names? Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. 
Because he said of her that he's, he has a touch of a choli in him. <laughs> and I don't know if he was inspired by you to then have ancestry. Yeah, because I was the first to actually tell him I'm a choli. Right? Yeah. And what was his reaction? Did he tell you the truth at that point? I was like, oh, you're a choli. I'm also a choli. That sounds like a pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not? But you did. No. Uh, yeah, you did. Yes, I did, but I wasn't trying to pick you up. No, but didn't you? It's yes or no. Are we going on another break? <laughs> <laughs> there are no breaks. Mm -mm. No breaks. But so are you actually a choli? Yes, yes. Uh, my dad uh -huh. was a choli. But I, we found out in 2015. And they gave you a name? I yeah. had the name already. Oh, she already has the name. She already hey, knows. He, he has a choli. How, how, how do you oh, know? Oh, tell us your name. Hmm? Yeah, time out. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he won't reveal that. Maybe he'll wait for like season. I don't know what to reveal that. But so I want, before the break, I wanted to know because if you're a psychopath or whoever you need to be, you have to, f even if there's a, a you know, character Bible, you need to figure out how to get into character. You need to sort of go to places to become that person because rarely are you given a character who's exactly who you are. You just described each other and there's a lot of differences in yeah. characters. So when it comes to love, people assume that's easy. You know, of course, you just like the other person and that's it. Yeah. But you guys didn't know each other no. before you got into the series. No. How was it in the first conversation when you find out you're playing the characters that are going to be this close? Um, the first time I was called at their workshop mm -hmm. to audition for the role, I had hair. Okay. So they long told, hair? Yes, long hair. Yeah. So I had to, they told me Noah is a 20 year old who stays in the ghetto. <laughs> okay. And they asked me how attached am I to my hair mm -hmm. because it wasn't giving the character. It wasn't giving broke all. vibes. No, <laughs> it wasn't. So, and Noah has five siblings. Okay. We're only two in real life, like at yes. home. Yes. Oh, wow. One year difference. Mm -hmm. And I'm the last one. Mm -hmm. So technically that means I have to stress my bigger brother. Mm -hmm. But now I'm exposed to three girls mm -hmm. who look up to me and a big brother mm. who has done nothing good right. with his life. So I have the whole family mm -hmm. weight on my shoulder. Meeting her the first day. Was she already cast in her role when yes. you were auditioning? Yes, she was mm. already casted. Because mm. they did a pilot. Mm -hmm. She was in the pilot. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. Yeah. So meeting her, I needed to know who I'm going to act with. For someone who was dating and I was dating, we had to put that life aside. Oh, the real life yes. you was dating, the real life I was dating. Yeah, so we had to put that aside. What does that mean? Don't, please don't confuse us. What it means... Put aside how? What it means <laughs> is for it to be as authentic as and person. believable, mm. you need to actually have feelings for this person. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> yes. Off. As the character oh, okay. on set. Right, 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 yes. right, right. So after set, mm -hmm. leave those feelings. Do you switch off? I mean, if someone says cut. It may not be immediately eh. because it's real. Yeah. It can take like about an hour. So eh. what you choose to do. <laughs> 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 it's phase, you it's know, you phase you, it out. But every action. Yeah. has an equal and opposite reaction. Wonderful. Yeah, so there are consequences. <laughs> so the first conversation, so she was already cast and you were coming in. When you got the role, did you guys have to be friends? Did you have to cultivate some sort of friendship to understand each other? Now that, because that's a very intimate yeah. sort of role that you're going to play with the other person. Must you be friends? Uh, for some people, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, the first day we met, we were actually going to shoot together. Hey, straight up, just like straight that? Straight up, yes. Um, how were those scenes? <laughs> they were good. Okay. She's a natural. Mm. And I love to feed off people's energy. Energies, yeah. So it's easy mm. if someone is a good actress or actor right. for them to create rapport. Mm -hmm. Just like this. Yeah. First time. Mm -hmm. And you just end up speaking. Yeah. Um, what surprised you about him as the characters grew, as you both got more comfortable, you know, playing the characters in terms of talent? Uh, you know, some scenes you ask me like, eh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, you know, you're, you're, like you're sh someone is growing almost in how skilled they are at playing a character. How those moments happen for the two of you? Yes. Hmm. Um, okay. I feel like there's a specific episode you're going to. Yep. Mm -hmm. She slapped me. <laughs> ah, guys. Why are you being so childish? Oh, childish, like your girlfriend Sonia. 
Sonia is not my girlfriend. Oh, really? So you mean you guys have never dated? We did, but like that was in the past. And she's my ex. How dare you bring her to my house? It's true. I had no option, okay? She works for my mother. Is, is that why you're angry? So first of all, we had agreed. No slap until we go in the close-up. <laughs> Yeah. But I think her emotions, mm -hmm. she felt it real. Mm -hmm. It's like I had cheated on her. In real life? Yeah. Mm. And she slapped me. And then she went behind the camera because she stepped out of frame. Yes. And then she started doing this. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still in. <laughs> you know like how the eye line You're is like 360. You're reacting because it's hurting. Yeah. But, but I'm seeing her in this angle. She's like. <laughs> Why are you apologizing stay. though? Because it was real. She the slap was a real slap. Yeah, it was a real slap. Yeah, it's painful. Yeah, so. Bambi. So sounds to me like you guys have gotten to know each other. I wonder what the other people would put on the side. How far they are now? <laughs> mm? Did they stay on the side? No, no, no. They're oh, still there. Okay. They're still there. <laughs> <laughs> How do you convince your partner when you come back home that me, Drusilla is Drusilla? Who are you? Um, I think by the time your partner decides to come into your life when you already have that uh, as a but career. you see, you already had the relationship. Yeah, but okay, so I've the been, career. Yeah, yeah yes. the career. So if they are not for you, they're gonna leave. Because mm -hmm. imagine your partner is a masseuse and they have to. <laughs> I get you. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So to. so you didn't have a conversation. No, you do. Okay. Have a conversation okay. before, mm -hmm. and then they have turned down some roles because it wouldn't work. Yeah. Because she has said it wouldn't work, or you just assumed. No, we communicate. Okay. Like, um, because it's, it's teamwork, yeah? yeah? Yeah, You address, there's this role I've been given, mm -hmm. these are the requirements. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. And if she says, mm, there are some compromises that are supposed to be made. That are supposed to happen. Do you have the conversation as well on your end? Yeah. And do you show that this is what the guy looks like? Yeah. <laughs> he actually knew before I even Oh, him. okay. They knew each other? No. Okay. But he had seen him already. Okay. Yeah. And they said, okay. No, of course he had to be supportive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As any man should be. <laughs> yeah. No choice. <laughs> you guys. She's like, but he had to be supportive. <laughs> like the worst part of everything is he. You know, he was just in these vests and he has these muscles and him. a tattoo, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so when he mm -hmm. saw him. Mm -hmm. On set? Uh, no, it wasn't on set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. She's like, those insecurities <laughs> are not mine. I, I beg, why are you terming them <laughs> insecurities? <laughs> but, but. What? He kind of felt a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But, but you were already episodes down the line yeah. at this point. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And he wasn't okay with so many things, but he had no choice because. You'd already we were forever still going to act together. He had no choice, or you told him there was no, no choice. I, of course, we were already acting, we were already yeah. shooting episodes. So I could not turn down a role mm -hmm. because I mean, you're not feeling safe about me acting with him. So, <sighs> but I'm sure he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's a break needed at this point? I can't believe no. she just said that. I, I had to say that. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you're an amazing player. <laughs> Um, I was going to ask the non-negotiables, but I feel like you're the two people who have no boundaries. No, no, the boundaries are okay. there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Tell boundaries us. are there. Um, Let's say for this role. Yeah. Is there a point where this, the roles that you play would have a limit? Yes. Okay. For starters, mm -hmm. I want to thank Multi-Choice for saying there's PG, so that means there's no making out, mm -hmm. there's, you get? Mm. So it looks like it's going to happen, but it does not happen. Okay. So that's that's one. And then... You uh, said thanks to Multitrose. So if Multitrose had said, forget PG... So that means we'll be saying a lot of <laughs> no to so many roles <laughs> if your partner does not agree. Yeah. Yeah. But so. these are sensitive things. Do you get people looking at you in real life when they meet the two of you who say, are you sure? Yeah. 
a lot. Right? A lot, yeah. It's hard to convince someone that there's nothing happening because it looks so real. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it feels real for us when we're on set. Well, it's a hole. You are digging it. You are inside <laughs> it. <laughs> Tell us why it looks so real. Because in that moment yeah. on set, this is the only. But person. then you're offset. People are meeting you offset. Offset. How come they can still feel that energy? Because they have that image in their mind. You planted this image in their mind right. because of what they watch. Mm -hmm. It looks so real, mm -hmm. they believe it to be true. Mm -hmm. When I was doing the prestige role, mm -hmm. everyone I would meet didn't want to sit next to me because mm -hmm. they thought I was going to kidnap them or sexually assault them. Wow. Because it's so real. Yeah. You know, even in Hollywood, people always shy away from heavily romantic or love sort of roles because nine out of ten times you're hearing the, the co-stars end up dating off screen even yeah. if it's for a short while but i think the chemistry that they have to have on set always sips it's intense it's it wow sir okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow sir but so i'm going to say this when i was having a conversation with the first question i asked them off air i said something about the relationship how far it went then he said which one the one on screen or off screen so <laughs> Until now, I'm confused. You mean there is a relationship off screen and there's one on screen? It has to screen? be there. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Because you... I don't know how to explain this, but... Is it like research, Papa says? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> because you're forced to shoot so many scenes together. in a day yes. together. Mm -hmm. So if you do not keep that rapport the previous night, then that means it's going to come out Fake. Before they die in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move from this movie because they are about to die in this movie. What, what, when you look at your characters, let's say you're doing so well now and at some point series comes to a halt and then you move on to another role, something totally different. You know how characters sort of haunt you and everybody always, like you said, sometimes stereotype and they typecast you into certain roles. Yeah. Let's say we move away from the lovers what is your dream role and say, you know what, if somebody didn't even know what I had done before, this is a role I would have loved to play. I want to play an action role. Mm. Yeah, like the adrenaline the yes, rush. I would yes. really, really love that. Okay. The Brock role in the Malai has <laughs> humbled me. There's no sense of cousin Sibaza. You really didn't want the broke roll. I uh, it was a challenge. Yeah. I love challenges. The fact that I was I was on set mm -hmm. in the middle of a scene and a bed bug beat me. But your fish an was actual... an actual bed bag because mm. it's real. It's there. <laughs> that set. I don't know how much they pay that set designer, but that wasn't necessary. <laughs> the bed bags should not have been should there. Should not have been there. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, like it shows you that other side of life. Mm. So it's easy for you, even in the real world, to relate mm. with different people because right. you've lived those different those lives. Roles, yeah. yeah. Is there a dream role for you? Yeah, I would want to do a role of a, a very, how do I say it, a rude person. Because mm. most of the roles the are bad done girl. like, you're a bad girl. Mm. Most of the roles I've done are like, so I told. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. And, and you told me she's not introverted and she's not calm, cool, collected. No, no. I am. She says she is <laughs> unbelievable. When you when you get on set, especially you who said that you know first we just got into the industry now when it's nice and sweet and juicy, yeah. there is such things as money. Art gets paid. How do you price yourselves? <sighs> you wanna go first? <laughs> no. Why? Okay. So um, I don't know how to say this. Uh, for me, money has never been a drive mm -hmm. to get onto a project. Right. But as my mom says, never do something you're good at for free. Mm -hmm. I would want to first listen to the offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I listen to the offer, and then there are two things I ask: is okay. costume and transport it, provided? A true Ugandan. 
standard. Because <laughs> After that food, you're not at that food. No, that that has to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you providing lunch? <laughs> yeah, that has to be there. Yeah. But like costume and transportation, mm. if that's catered for, then the rest you can negotiate. Yeah, then the next. Ah. Yeah. How do you do it? And for me, honestly, it was the the love and the passion. I was excited. Mm. Um, you forgot to ask about the payment? Not, even I, not that I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Of course that is there. Mm -hmm. They'll always tell you mm. this is the amount. Yeah. Usually most of the pro projects I've been at, they don't, you don't decide for you. Uh, they don't leave room for negotiating. They offer you. Yeah. It's an offer. They, they tell you it's between this amount and this amount. Mm. Are you okay with that? Uh -huh. Do you think you can work? So yeah, but the passion <laughs> really, honestly. Okay, yeah. she's being honest. Where are you seeing the industry go in a couple of years? Obviously, you two are in that industry. You've grown to some leaps and bounds in a couple of years. <laughs> what does it look like? <laughs> uh, it looks juicy. Mm -hmm. The fact that there are so many channels that are being fed this content, yeah. that means uh, filmmakers are going to grow, uh, mm. others are going to come up. Uh, before it was just Palm Magic Prime, mm. now it's Palm Magic, and then Palm Magic Logo. Logo. Yeah. So, it's growing. Mm -hmm. um, so there's more uh, platforms that require um, content, Ugandan content yes. particularly. And I would say it's pretty looking amazing. Do you guys ever, because you're on screen, do you ever have interest in the off screen stuff, the writing, the directing, the anything else? Any other role that you might say, hey, it wouldn't be bad if I learned that or took on that one? In another life, wow. I think I would be a <laughs> director. In another life? In another life, mm. yes. So you know how sometimes there's scenarios? Because people right now might be like, where's Noah, where's Kenny, where's Nicoletta, where's Drusilla? But we want Drusilla and Noah to sort of give us a scenario. And let's say you, we can start with you, right? Okay. You prompt them. Anything in your mind, just start a scene and let her react naturally. Since you clearly have the chemistry. <laughs> okay. So you're going to stay away from me just because your dad asked you to? What do you want me to tell them? You literally saw what happened to you now. Drusilla, you keep telling me time and time again that you love me. Noah, is it jail that you want to go to? Do you want to end up like the way you were last time? I do not care where I end up, okay? As long as I'm with you. That's all that matters. Noah, I told you there's nothing that can separate us. Why don't you see it the way I do? I want you, I want us to give, give this a break, Noah. Please, understand. I don't want your family to go through what they went through. Jusira, I do not care about that. All I care about is you and I. Just you and I. Why is it so hard for you to see? Look at your mom. Look at Fiti. Look at Rocky. Is this what you want to make them go through? Can't you understand that my parents have a lot of power right now. Do you want to go through what you went through? I'm going to ask you this. And please, be honest. Drusilla, do you love me? Are you asking me this? Answer it. Of course you know I do. Then stay with me. You want? Yeah, it's okay. No, save it. Listen. It's clear. <laughs> Cut! <laughs>